Will Mark take Serena out of jail in the continuation of the series? Did they have an affair? Perhaps Serena will become a handmaid in the next season. Let's go through some very reliable theories. Warning, spoilers ahead. She gets out of prison. For a long, long time, there have been theories about Mark and Fred's wife having an affair. The two have been using each other for different purposes, but now that we've seen what happened in the fourth installment, we're sure that Joy's future involves Mark. After the death of Fred Waterford, her husband, she's left alone with her child. Fans are convinced that she'll use Mark to get out of prison and take her child someplace safe. According to Yvonne Serhovsky, Joy will certainly get out of prison in the next installment. She also explained that her character will again use Mark. More precisely, she'll use their flirtatious dynamic as a strategy to get the free out-of-jail card. Fred Waterford was one of the people Serena would have used to get out of jail, but now that June and the other handmaids gave him what he deserved, Serena has no one else to turn to except for Mark. In an interview with Harper Bazaar, Strahovski explained that her character and Mark have a really unique flirtatious dynamic, even though that's maybe a stretch. She added that he has an ulterior motive, and so does her character. This way, they'll both get what they want. Mark Twello obviously wants to get information and just set her and Fred up a certain way so that the Canadian government gets the most out of each of them for whatever they can offer. Viewers didn't see Serena's reaction to her husband's death, and the next installment is likely to continue right after she got Fred's finger in a package, a package that June sent her. One thing we're certain of is that Season 5 will be about a war between Fred's wife and June. But back on Joy and Mark, let's see if they had an affair, shall we? Well, you might have thought about that when you served the warrant. You arrested me. Now you've got Serena and Mark as a couple? The fourth season of the series almost proved that Serena and Mark have had an affair before. Fans weren't sure about this, but once they saw the season 4 finale of The Handmaid's Tale, this theory became quite reliable. These two will either have an affair or have had one in the past. More importantly, fans are pretty familiar with Serena and her selfish nature, so after she hears the news of her husband being dead, she'll look for someone or something that will guarantee her a better future. We can't think of anyone else better than Mark for that. Then again, he can also use her for his own benefits, so it's a win-win situation. Back when Fred was still alive, Serena was still interested in a future with him. After everything he had done, after being responsible for the sufferings of the handmaids in Gilead, and after being accountable for the wicked Gilead regime, his wife was still interested in the idea of raising her child with him. In the last episode of Season 4, we hear her talking with Mark Twello outside the meeting room. While they talk, Fred is still answering questions, but if you pay close attention to what they're talking about, you'll notice that they don't give a single damn about Fred. Their conversation is more about themselves and how they can secure a good future for themselves. During their conversation, Twello asks Joy if she plans on staying with Fred. She says they'll live together as a family, and Twello's answer proves that there was or there is something more than the professional connection between them. Also, the way she says she and Fred will live together as a family is a bit suspicious. Twello replies with, Can you explain that to me, Serena? To which she says, I don't think I have to. Obviously, Mark feels bad for Serena. As a family, of course. Can you explain that to me, sir? While they speak, he seems like he deeply cares for her, not in a simple way, but it seems like he has feelings for her. And this is not the only thing that proves these two were involved in an affair or something like that before. Their previous meetings were the reason fans started coming up with theories regarding their future together in the first place. As already mentioned, ever since season 2, fans were preparing themselves for a Mark and Serena thing to come. With this conversation between the pair, it's clear that we'll find out more about what happened between them in future episodes of the show. Also, the way Joy ignored his question is not something we shouldn't pay attention to. She clearly cares for him, and it's really difficult for her to answer the simple question of what she means by living together with Fred as a family. Do you guys think it's possible that she's carrying Mark's baby? Maybe that would be one of the many plot twists in the next installment. Before we continue with more theories, Make sure you smash that like button if you haven't done it already. I'm going to get Fred to drop the claim. Could she become a handmaid? Well, we don't think so. You see, this would be one very expected storyline, and if the creators make her a handmaid, viewers won't be surprised, simply because we all expect this to happen. The thing with The Handmaid's Tale and its creators is that they never give us an expected plot. Strahovski herself admitted that this is an exciting possibility but unlikely to happen 
because this show wants to give fans an unexpected continuation. We are not saying that there are no chances of her being sent back to Gilead and becoming a handmaid, but again, that wouldn't surprise fans. If we learn something about this show, is that we should always expect the unexpected. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Strahovski said the storyline of her character becoming a handmaid is an obvious one that the creators would never choose to do. It makes more sense to me to do the more infuriating thing, infuriating the fans, and that she actually finds success outside of the detention center in Canada in the way of politics or becoming some kind of spokeswoman picking up where she left off pre-Gilead, writing a book, getting a following, becoming the female president of Canada. What do you guys think? Could Fred's wife become a handmaid in future episodes? Let us know. Reminds me of those airport chapels. She can't change. Sam Yeager, the actor who plays Mark, thinks Joy can change. In a one burning question part after the Handmaid's Tale season 4 episode 7, Yeager explained that his potential to partner is too far gone to make herself a better person. We've already mentioned that Season 5 will mostly focus on the war between Joy and June. There's no way Joy would stop after seeing Fred's finger in that package. I have no idea how she's going to come out of this, Yeager explained, adding, I know she will, that's the danger. Max Minghella, the actor that plays Nick Blaine in the series, gave a simple answer, She is going to war with June Osborne. That's an intimidating foe. We also believe that Joy will try to use Fred's death for her own benefit. More precisely, she'll try to portray herself as the victim in order for people to believe that she was the good guy. Don't you agree? I think I'm gonna let you have her and walk free, go start some new life. The meeting with June. Remember when June and Serena met in season four, back when June finally unleashed her anger towards this woman? Well, turns out Mark wanted June to speak to Joy. In an interview with TV Insider, Jaeger explained that Mark believes June and he understands Serena. He wanted to shake loose that part of Serena that he believes is still good. It's maybe not the best way to do it, to have a woman who is as fiery as any person should be in the same room as her captor. That you caused us when you tore our children from our arms! What are your hopes for Serena in the next installment? Do you have any theories of what might happen to her? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching, guys.